Yeah, today's topic is Snowflake Resource Monitor. Okay, so till now we have seen the data button done. So in Snowflake, there are two types of, okay, let me start recording. Oh, it's already recording in progress. Okay, all right. hmm. So there are two types of cost in Snowflake. One is, uh, storage cost and the other one is computing cost okay God. Oh, no. keys are not working or yeah two types of cost storage cost and compute cost storage cost for the amount of the data you store in snowflake they'll charge you compute cost uh, you will be charged for the compute. Compute in the sense, snow pipe, uh, again, virtual warehouse, this all comes to compute cost. Okay. So, uh, in real time, we'll have like uh, hundreds of uh, virtual warehouses. It is impossible to monitor each warehouse individually, like how many credits it consumed, what is the bill on this. It is very difficult to monitor, right? So, for this reason, Snowflake is providing us the Resource monitors. Uh, what is the use case for this resource monitor? Let's see. To help control cost and avoid unexpected credit usage caused by running warehouses, Snowflake provide resource monitors. Okay, that means uh, uh, this is just like a, see, for example, if you have car or bike, you have speedometer, right? Something like what this resource monitors will do is, it will keep an eye on, on all your virtual warehouses. If you have 100 of virtual warehouses, it will monitor for the, uh, how many credits it, it will keep eye on that. A virtual warehouse consumes snowflake credits while it runs. The number of credits consumed depends on the size, uh, size, of, size of the warehouse and how long it runs. Okay. Limits can be uh, set for a specified interval or date range. When these limits are reached and are approaching, the resource monitor can trigger a action such as sending alert and notification. Okay, long PPT, I'll simplify. So you have, uh, like let's say your team is using uh, two virtual warehouses, but throughout the company you have n number of virtual warehouses. Let's say, uh, usually when you are working for a client and all, they will ask like how much budget it's going to take me, right? Definitely as this is a cloud-based, uh, uh, warehouse de definitely like uh, we need to have some budgets and all okay so let's say uh, I'm loading uh, I'm helping one team like let's say I'm helping the sales team to load their marketing team marketing data okay in this case like let's say on an average I'm extracting like 2 GB data per day on an average and I'm loading into snowflake like let's say this is my snowflake why i'm using this virtual warehouse so for loading 2 gb like let's say it is taking one hour so if i use extra small how many like uh, you know one hour per hour i take per day it is two hours so sometimes what will happen is as a developer we'll have this resize access and all. so see now if i resize to 4x and if i leave like this what will happen it will burn a lot of credits right and you know you take the 6x large that is like a 5 to 12 systems right 5 to 12 systems into 10 clusters so 5120 credits it will burn per hour okay 5120 credits per hour so one credit how much it will cost you one snowflake credit is four dollars right then 5020 5,120 into 4. So 20,480. Okay, let's uh, 20,480 USD to INR. How much, guys? 15 lakhs. Un 15 lakh 32,000. 15 lakh 32,000. Yeah, 15 lakhs. 
15 lakhs 32,000. Means again, if I leave it for whole day, how much? Who is gonna pay for? Right? Again, if I leave it, that's my mistake, right? Again, but company has to pay for that mistake. So that's why in real time we'll have this uh, resource monitors in place. Okay. Then resource monitor, what we can do? Let's uh, see. We can set the credit quota for using resource monitor. What is credit quota? For example, if you are using so Airtel, they are saying like every month you will get like 200 free minutes. Okay. Every minute, every 200 days. Sorry. One second. So, yeah. Every month, like let's say, I'm giving you 200 free minutes. So like let's say this month we have like around two or three more days left on this month. You used 180 minutes. How many it is a minutes are pending 20 minutes. So next month what will happen guys again you will get 200 minutes right same way. I need to set the credit quota monthly credit quota quarterly or yearly credit quota specifies the number of snowflake credits allocated to the monitor for specific period of uh, uh, for, for the specified frequency interval. Any numbers can be specified in addition. Snowflake tracks the used credits quota within specific interval by all warehouse assigned to the monitor. At the specified interval, this number resets back to zero. See, same like uh, you can assign a credit quota for uh, resource monitor. That means my budget is uh, 500 Snowflake credits. Then what it will do? It will continuously monitor the warehouse for those 500 uh, credits and all. Okay, to cut it short, in this example, I have three resource monitors. Resource monitor one, resource monitor two, and resource monitor three. Resource monitor one is at the account level. Okay. That means uh, like let's say your manager or like you know IT director, whoever. We have a IT budget for each and every application, right? So if the budget is 5,000 for throughout my company, 5,000 is the monthly budget throughout the company. Even if we have 100 uh, warehouses, that is my budget. So we, we can assign the resource monitor one at the account level. Okay, at the account level. Then what happens? Uh, it will check for the usage on warehouse one, two, three. If you have 10, it will check for all. So the credit quota for entire account is 5000 for the interval. Interval could be month, week, etc. as controlled by risk as controlled by resource monitor one. If this quota is reached within interval, the action defined for the resource monitor. What actions we can define? Suspend, suspend, uh, inter, uh, suspend immediate are enforced for all the five warehouses. Okay, so if this budget uh, got reached now, all these warehouses will suspend. Warehouse can, uh, uh, warehouse three. Can you, uh, can you please maximize this uh, from bottom, like 100% or? Yes, okay. Now it is. Yes. Okay, so another I have second type of resource more second resource monitor where I assigned only for warehouse. Like let's say my team is only using one virtual warehouse. In that case, I only care for my team. I don't care for entire company. So what I'll do is I'll create one resource monitor. I'll assign to this particular warehouse. Then I set some uh, uh, specific credit quota. Okay, then the third type I have uh, credit quota uh, resource monitor three. I have credit quota 2500 credits. Uh, this monitor is uh, is assigned to two warehouses. That means it monitor two warehouses. So that means we can create a resource monitor at account level. We can create a resource monitor at warehouse level and one resource monitor can uh, can monitor multiple warehouses okay yes uh, any limit on monitor or like here uh, 5 10 how many warehouse we can monitor there is no any limit, limit you can attach in no limit so with one monitor we can uh, attach multiple thing means multiple warehouse yeah yeah, you can attend uh, for one way resource monitor. You can now uh, you can assign a number of warehouses. Okay. This is admin task or who is doing these things? Admin. admin.
this is completely admin responsibility but warehouse size that's developer responsibility once we selected uh, that's uh, admin responsibility so first we'll do the load testing for example like uh, how i'll come to know is if i am like loading on an average 1 gb of data then uh, for data loading i am using compute warehouse okay I'm using how many hours? One one hour. Let's say for uh, I'm taking one hour to load one GB of data. In that case, that is fixed, right? Maybe half an hour here and there, it is happening. On an average, uh, one hour per daily, per month, how much? Excluding weekends, I need to calculate and I need to come up with a budget. So same thing, I'll say I'll I'll tell to the client. See, expect like uh, every month you will expect like 200 to 250. That fifty dollars, fifty credits will keep as a buffer. We'll say two fifty. And again, once we define the budget, that is our responsibility to see. You need to set something in place, right? Yeah. So we need to calculate that, and we need to come up with the budget. Okay. I'll I'll show you the load testing. I didn't show, it, but uh, load testing I'll show. Uh, let's say the credit quota is 200. My budget is 200 snowflake credits and the frequency I want to uh, monitor it monthly every month. This is my budget. Okay, if you have weekly budget, you can set it means every week it will reset. Yearly. Never. It means $200. Or they have different uh, method to obtain the credit. Not two hundred dollars credits, number of credits, one credit per hour. Okay. These are credit quota credit. And based Start on credit, time. they are they are calculating the amount in dollars. Yeah. Okay. start timestamp if i want to start like uh, as this uh, you can schedule it suppose i want this resource monitor to start next month i can schedule it to next month if i give the start timestamp as november it will start november so as of now i want to start immediately so on 50% do notify uh, maybe if it reaches 60% uh, or like maybe 70% I want another notification so on 50% do notify that means I'll get a notification over here and also to my email ID on 70% do notify I'll get a second notification at 7 what is 70% so what is like 50% uh, of 200 100 right 70% again you calculate that but uh, yeah 99% so this means this too you will get a notifications over here and your email on 95% do suspend that means at 95% uh, if my warehouse let's say that some queries are running on this warehouse if it reaches 95 like let's say if 180 or 190 is the 95% of 200 then if my warehouse consumes 190 credits then what it will do is it will suspend means the existing queries on warehouse will be keep on running it won't accept new queries but existing queries will run okay but when I say on 99% suspend immediate, what is the difference between suspend and suspend and immediate is suspend immediate will immediately drop all the existing workloads. Okay, that is the difference between suspend. 
so if let's say arun query is running it uh, while it is running it reached 95% but it uh, but this query needs another half an hour to complete that in that case what we'll do is uh, okay it it won't uh, stop this virtual warehouse it let the virtual warehouse running but like let's say in this meantime vamshi submitted his query it won't accept vamshi query but it won't even suspend arun query as well arun query will keep on running but when i say suspend immediate what will happen uh, arun query will be stopped immediately okay so it is best uh, it is the best person to leave one percent buffer because uh, while starting and stopping the warehouse it takes some time so it is best practice to uh, give one one percent buffer so you can see i have uh, one warehouse but uh, see morning i created a same class right again i created account okay this is a new account i guess anyway yeah let's see how we can attach see as of now if i create this right i created a resource monitor compute warehouse successfully okay but this is a just a dummy it's not monitoring any warehouse so we need to attach a warehouse so let's see how we can attach the warehouse so alter warehouse uh, let's pick some warehouse name maybe let's take the compute warehouse alter warehouse compute warehouse set resource underscore monitor okay monitor is equal to i need to give this compute warehouse from now onwards this resource monitor so this resource monitor will continuously monitor this warehouse compute warehouse then i will take the same code and then i i'll create one more resource monitor at the account level so here it is 2000 dollars okay this time i have to attach this to all the account all the warehouses like you know all the warehouses in this account alter account set resource underscore monitor is equal to account level resource monitor so then what it will do it will monitor all this like sales compute both sales force and compute both it will monitor okay so this is how we we'll, we can create a resource monitors in snowflake and also but this is a we need a account admin access for creating this usually like if you don't have account admin access what the companies will do they'll create a resource monitor and they will give you access to read the data okay we created two one is like assigned to this warehouse so if you want to see from here you can read the quota how much quota used like you know zero credits out of 2000 credits zero credits out of 200 and this will reset every month suppose like let's say this month i used 95 percent next month it will again reset to zero percent okay i can also create the resource monitor from uh, web ui okay rm uh, example so number of credits let's say ten dollars is my credit quota resource uh, i want to keep this resource monitor at warehouse level and i want to monitor this compute warehouse okay if you want to monitor multiple you can add multiple okay warehouses that are already monitor will be reassigned because this compute warehouse is monitored by compute underscore warehouse so this will be replaced okay this will be like replaced customize if i want to start it uh, custom month let's say i want to start monitoring from next i can select the time and date okay resets if i want like this uh, yearly i can say yearly weekly means weekly daily never what this option never will do is till my budget is over it will keep on monitoring it okay if i have any specific end date like let's say every quarter if i am using if that quarter is ending maybe on uh, 
December, the fourth quarter is ending at December. I can uh, specify when it will end. Okay, I can simply set to set. Okay, so suspend and notify when 50% of the credits is used. Okay, suspend immediately and notify when around 90. Notify when 99% credits. So I, I can add more thresholds if I want. Okay, when I say show SQL, this is the code. Create resource monitor, credit quota, frequency never, start timestamp, end timestamp, and again, these are the custom uh, triggers. And you can see alter arrows. So again, this will be created by account admin. Okay, and you will get access to uh, monitor that. And uh, can you please create one uh, warehouse so at least we know what are the parameters are needed? Uh, sorry, can you repeat that once again? Can you create a new warehouse so uh, just for dummy purpose? So at least we know the how what are the mandatory parameters in the while creating the we warehouse. Already right? We already like we we completed the warehouse topic, right? I explained like what is minimum cluster. What is okay, auto scaling? Then. What is max cost mode? Okay, fine. And when also resource monitor, uh, you showed one screen at resource. In drop down, uh, we have selected at warehouse level. And what are other level? Okay, how many the uh, schedule are there? We can select only uh, from those. So you want to monitor at warehouse level or account level? That's it. Okay, only two for uh, everything everywhere. Right. Okay. I don't know, it is taking some time. I don't know. Okay, so this is how we'll create a resource monitors. I will upload this notes as well. Uh, how is that ISCS is coming again? Okay, I upload this notes as well. Resource monitor also I uploaded. Okay, yeah. Okay, so anyhow, as we have some time, uh... mm. all right. Okay, so set C. I'm loading some book file. Okay, first let me create a stage. Create stage. Temp. Some named stage I'm creating. So after this, uh, what I'll do is book file. So from D drive. Uh, I have this data sets and uh, so some things like I want to upload all CSV files to the which stage? Uh, what is the stage I just created guys? Test right? Temp okay. Temp. Okay, how many files I loaded? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, whatever. Some files. 
time lapsed 30 rows 30 files in 16 seconds 16 seconds yeah uh, you can round it to 16.5 seconds right you know all these files i uploaded all these files all this data then 16 seconds right and then what warehouse i'm using compute warehouse then i have to take like uh, extra warehouse the size of the compute warehouse is extra small again you can ignore this b row then at that time i added like you know but like let's say if you have the data like let's say now let's assume that i loaded 1 gb of data for 1 gb of data how much seconds it is taking it has taken 16 seconds then if i use the warehouse for 16 for each second this is what the snowflake credit will be consumed 0 0.003 i'm using business critical version so i converted this into a uh, number of credits it consumed per second it is 0 0.003 for 16 seconds how much 0 0.048 again i have taken the dollar amount one rupee as a 80 rupees little extra then i made this conversion means for loading 1 gb of data ignore this bureau for loading 1 gb of data it took like 16 seconds and it costed me 3.8 then again i'll do the same load with small warehouse then i'll find out how much time it has taken from here time lapsed okay same the case i'll do the load testing with medium i'll find out what is the cost same with extra small then i need to derive this and then i need to select the what is the best warehouse so i don't have enough data at times what will happen for example if you are using extra small it will take you 15 minutes and like let's say 100 rupees is what it costed you but if i use like extra large or uh, medium sometimes it will take the same it will uh, our job will over in five minutes and but five minutes will be charged 100 rupees here 15 minutes uh, we got 100 rupees as a charge but for five minutes i got 100 but my job is done right here what i'm saving guys i'm saving 10 minutes of my time because i'm if uh, medium or little advanced warehouses definitely we know by name itself but when i do load testing I'll, i have to find this optimal breakup at some point uh, the extra large or medium definitely uses the same amount of money what we are paying for extra small but it will get our job done in five minutes then what i'll do is i'll select this warehouse for data loading because yeah it obviously like uh, i got to know like even if i use extra small i have to wait 15 minutes but i use medium it is taking only five minutes but five minutes it is costing me same amount of what extra small is uh, charging right yes so this is how we need to do the load testing okay.